Hey, and welcome, as I'm going to show you why I switched from Doomy Max to uh, some Spacey Max to Doomy Max. I really like both of them. I think they're both uh, solid pieces of distributions. Um, Doomy Max has the advantage on a couple of fronts just because it's faster in general, um, and it has uh, some nice features for people who are just getting into Emacs. So this is the uh, home screen of what Emacs looks like. I mean, Doomy Max looks like. And right away, you can probably see at the bottom here why I like it. It's so fast. Um, loaded this many packages, this many mod modules in 1.2 seconds. That's super fast. It's way faster than Space Max. Space Max would load anywhere between um, 10 seconds to like 30 seconds sometimes. It was very long how, how long it would take to load, which is okay if you're going to use it a lot and you always have it open, which is fine. This is mainly what I do, but where it makes a big difference is when using it on mobile. Um, I can use Doomy Max, and anybody can who has an Android phone. This is uh, an app called Termix, and uh, what you do is um, it um, is just a simple terminal right here, and you can install different packages. So you can install uh, Doomy Max, you can install it, and it loads, and it just runs out of the terminal. Of the program and so I've found it to have just about as all the functionality as Doomy Max does except for uh, and I yeah, I can't even find a spot where it uh, messes up or needs some improvement on so I love that about um, Doomy Max it's fast on, also on my mobile which it made a bigger difference because it was you know if it's you know half as slow and it would take maybe 30 seconds to load on my computer well that would take like a minute to load on my uh, phone which it would get much, actually, it's much longer than that. Sometimes it would take several minutes for it to load on my phone, which wasn't fun, especially if you're, you know, trying to do something quick. So I like that about, well, um, some other things too. What I liked is that it's just better for beginners. And what I mean by that is whenever you go into your dot files, which is space FP, uh, let's go to the init section. And this is where um, a bunch of, I'm not going to call them preloaded, but pre-configured programs that work together so that they're easy to install. So let's say I want to install one of these programs. Um, let's say I want to install this uh, eShell right here. Okay, I uncomment it. I hit XX to uncomment it. And to install it, um, all I would hit is space HRR. And that goes through the configuration or sync where it's just like doing space F E capital R back at space max that would reload everything. So this feature's uh, great because right in the front here, you see all these different, um, all these different texts here, which is, uh, I mean, all these different packages for you to mess with. So uh, some of the ones mentioned here, I wouldn't know what to do with them. Like for instance, this God run Emacs commands without modifier keys. I have no idea what that does. It sounds like something that would get really uh, annoying, but um there it is so maybe somebody would useful of that um i don't know but maybe you wanted something like word wrap and in fact i want to install that myself because i haven't seen that one before soft wrapping with language aware indent hmm i don't know what that does but i'm going to check it out so i would have known that existed unless it was had this particular uh it, that particular uh Thing was mentioned there in this list so it's like a curated list now you can go on and find some other people who've got their list on the internet which is fine but this guy he's put it all in here i believe his name is heinrich who's come together and put this together and so i thoroughly enjoy it and one of the ones that i found that i really enjoyed is right down here i have my uh, battery life now i've got it charging so it's going to increase as this video goes on but i can see where my battery life is as i'm using doom max so to me that's Really, really cool. Um, and I think this is great for beginners. They can kind of look through these lists and say, oh, okay, okay. And especially if somebody who's found this channel because you're interested in Org Rome, um, to install Org Rome on Doing Max is unbelievably easy. So normally, the way you would find this is that you would find it like this is how you would find Org. It would just be like this. But you add. Um, parentheses around it and then you just add the plus rome and that adds and then you uh evaluate it 
and that'll uh, add Rome to it. I also have present, which is for reveal.js. I use presentations. I create presentations in Rome using reveal.js for presentation stuff. And so for me, that is uh, fantastic. Uh, that's a super fast way to install it versus how I showed you in the previous uh, video there. So I think that is a win for people. Now, the things that I don't like, what happens is, is whenever I'm using uh, Rome, org Rome, is that my backlink thing automatically opens up. So whenever I load a file in um, this, I have it to where it doesn't do it anymore. But normally, let's say I want to open up Job 35, and it opens up. Um, normally, it would have this right next to it, which would happen every time. And so if I have like, you know, I've got several buffers open, it would automatically open that up. And it would just be like, I don't, I'm not using it right now. Stop, <laughs> go away. So what you do is, is you go to the um, fig section and it's right there. One of these. Oh, no, no, no. I just deleted some verses there. Thing. There you go. There. Now, uh, now we're fine. All right, so it's right here is the remove hook. So remove hook, find file hook, or roam open buffer maybe. H. You, you add this, and it removes that hook that'll open up those buffers like that. I really think that's great. Um, a great little feature. So add that if you're somebody, me, that just doesn't want the, the buffer opened up every time you open something up. So get rid of that. Another thing it does, what I loved about Spacey Max, and I don't know where this feature gets baked in, whether it's Space Max does this or it's just Rome, and for some reason my version of Rome doesn't have this yet. But whenever it's paused on Spacey Max, it would say at the bottom, while the thing was idle, um, we made connections inside your org Rome data. And so things would just work that way. It doesn't do it with this one. I don't know why. I'll figure it out at some point, probably, but I wish it would sync on pause. It just doesn't do that right now. So if you're creating links between them, or you're creating a new note inside your org Rome here, it just wouldn't be created. And I don't know why it does that, but we'll figure it out. The other thing too is, is that the um, dot file thing is a little bit confusing. I'm gonna remove that because I don't think that's that big of a deal. But whenever you do customize group here, it tells you, hey, do you really want to do this, 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 and this, and you're like, you know, why doesn't this work? Or, but here's the thing is, I, I still do it, and it works just fine. I've used it several times as far as the customized group. Because I like that because it like gives me the options that I don't know that exist, so I use it for that reason. And then the thing I don't like is this flags option. So if we go back to our init file with the packages here, I don't. I only know these exist because I just found them randomly on the internet some places. Um, and you can see here, sometimes they even include them. I wish there was like a complete list of all these extra flags because these flags are not just the program itself, but rather it's like the cleanest way or the, the way that Heinrich, who's made doing the Max, uh, makes sure that these programs kind of work together. It won't install just org Rome, but I think it installs like two other yeah, two other um, files or two other packages, modules, along with org Rome, so that it works together better. And I wish that I had a list of all these there, but I don't. That's fine. So here's the thing. Should you use e, um, should you use Doomy Max? Well, if you're somebody starting out, I think it's better in some ways than Doom. Now, there are some great tutorials online for you to check out on YouTube and other places that will show you how to use Doom Max, and so that's great, just like Space Max. Um, and I think it's closer to Vim in some ways than Space Max. And I like getting closer to Vim myself, not because I've ever used Vim all that much, except for a few handful of occasions, but I like the philosophy behind Vim. Um, better so instead of hitting space space to like create whatever to open up some sort of function you want to add um what you do it that this does find file but what you can do is space uh, colon which that's how vim works you just hit colon 
um, whatever you wanted to add. And that's how the bin would work. But it's space colon for the functions here. Or you can always do the Alt X, which is fine too. But I like that. I think it's great. And I think it's faster, so I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, is there huge differences? No, most of the thing you're going to have to worry about is muscle memory, I think. Um, but speed is important. That's why I'm really changing it to Doom Emacs. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I think I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.